1570 WOCA. Five minutes after 9 o'clock, it is time for Veterans News. Hank Whittier is not in the studio right now. Gary Pascal is sitting in his place. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Larry, and and good morning, veterans. Uh, Department of Defense didn't report any casualties today, and I I really thought that was good news, and I I was going to come here with that good news this morning. But uh, shortly before I arrived at the station, I got a call with some terrible news that um, I would like to share with all the veterans of Marion County as uh, it's all our loss. Uh, Last week, if you listen to the show, and he's here almost every week, you know, uh, Donald Harrison, one of the great members of Veterans Helping Vets, he's on our advisory board. Um, He does countless things uh, to raise money for veterans, uh, you know, through Golden Ocala and other areas, and right now he was working on the LPGA uh, golf tournament. Uh, He's a dear friend to all of us. Donald was killed yesterday afternoon about 1.30 in an accident involving his motorcycle and an SUV on US 441. So we mourn his loss. Our prayers and our thoughts go with his family. Um, Donald, or Donnie as we call him, was a United States Marine, a decorated United States Marine who served in Vietnam uh, and suffered grave injuries. Uh, he came home from Vietnam. He went to college, and then uh, the rest of his work in life, he served his country in the Department of Defense. You know, constantly looking out for the nation, constantly looking out for veterans. Um, and yesterday, when he was killed, he was probably on some kind of mission, going somewhere else. You know, to to do something for the veterans of Marion County. So, uh, you know, we miss him here at the radio station this morning. You know, we miss him at Vets Helping Vets. Uh, You know, he was one of us. And um, he had brought the Assistant Secretary of Defense on on the Air Force last week. Um, Donnie knew a lot of great people, but, you know, Donnie was always just one of the guys. And uh, we love you, Donnie, and uh, our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to your family. Um, Joe, do you got anything you want to add? You covered all the bases. You did well. All right, we'll be right back. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Okay, Veterans Radio is brought to you this morning, of course, by the fine folks over here at uh, WOCA Radio and the Ocala Ford dealers that serve Gainesville, Leesburg, and the villages. These fine Ford dealers strive to be the best Ford dealers in the state. They offer you the best selection of used cars, new cars. They'll finance, they'll lease. You can get special parts. Um, anything you need in, for your Ford, you can get it. And uh, if you need more information on this, call the wonderful folks at Ford of Ocala at area code 352-732-4800. Get down there soon and get your new Ford or your used Ford car or truck and then everything to go with it, repairs, uh, 
parts, anything you need. And when you get that truck, why don't you drive it over to Bob Wine's Camellia Garden and Nursery, okay? Because uh, they've been helping us out with Veterans News here for a long time, and we love them folks. They're great. They're located at 2610 Southeast 38th Street in beautiful Ocala. When it comes to your landscaping, Bob Wine's has it. If they don't have it, you don't need it. Small plants, large trees, mulch, fertilizer, anything you can imagine when it comes to plants they have and catch this if they plant a tree for you they'll guarantee it so if that tree dies they'll come back and plant another one and they've been keeping things blooming in ocala since 1952 and when you go into bob wines make sure you tell them you heard about them on woca and if you're a veteran you get a 10 percent discount you just can't be a deal like that Boy, I talk about the Segway King over there. Man. I like it. When you're in your new Ford, don't forget to stop by Bob Wines. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I like it. Well, you know, this, these commercials are easy for me because I love flowers and I drive a Ford truck. <laughs> oh, well, all right. All right. Got a special guest for us this morning. Um, she's uh, one of our Vets Helping Vets volunteers. Been that way for a long time. Um, Mrs. Cassandra Morris. And she also works for the Salvation Army now. I'm going to let her go ahead and introduce herself and tell you a little bit about what she does over there. Good morning. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Cassandra Morris. I am a case manager at the Salvation Army. I work with veterans and men. We take in families. We take in uh, single men, single women. Veterans, anyone who's disabled, anyone who's homeless. Um, we also do assistance. Um, we give case management. Uh, we provide food, clothing for those in need, and we're always in need of donations. That was short and sweet, boy. She condensed that right. <laughs> we have, you know, we we have George uh, Patterson there, Major George Patterson, and uh, I think it's Major Forrest. I, 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 their ranks, I don't know what their ranks are from the Salvation Army. Major Forrest McIntyre. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh -oh. he, he listens to our show, so he's probably listening right now. How you doing, Major Mac? Oh gee, how you doing? <laughs> a shout out. Nah. What is with the shout out? One of these days, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna get him to come on here, and he's gonna, you know, give us a little bit of history about what he does. Um, a great thing, you know, Major Mac is a veteran, and uh, anytime I have a need for a veteran, you know, whether it be furniture or clothing and, and, and or, or whatever, uh, I got him on speed dial. But something else that he does for veterans, really behind the scene mm -hmm. that nobody sees, um, you know, Vets Helping Vets is, is highly involved in the veterans court, and sometimes we can't get the veterans the help they need you know, locally, um, especially, you know, when it comes to dealing with addictions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And before Major McIntyre retired, if you want to call running the thrift store, yeah, yeah. and retired, okay, uh, he, he uh, worked in the ARC programs for the Army, and I, I want him to come on the show and, and tell us about them, but, but that's called the Adult Rehabilitation Center. Um, it's where they actually rebuild the individual um, through counseling, um, spiritual awareness, uh, all kinds of programs they got going up there. I met him through the um, ARC in Jacksonville, but he served actually at several ARCs. And since he's got all them contacts that he still knows, it, it sometimes it can be pretty hard to get somebody into the ARC. But one call to Major Mac, and it's like, you know, if they qualify, they're Look, in. She's shaking so, her head yes back there. I just they, uh, they can't hear you shaking it. My head, if I shake it, they can hear that. Yours, you have to say yes or yes. no. I just can't <laughs> thank him enough. <laughs> now, over there at the Salvation Army, it seems we got uh, Cassandra here. Um, you want to tell us a little bit what they do generally, not just for veterans, but they, they do folks, they do things for all kinds of homeless folks they over do. there, don't they? We assist the homeless men, women, families, veterans, and the disabled. We do referrals for education, IDs, housing, and health care, and we try to help in any general way that's needed. Um, we've offered food, shelter, personal kits. Um, we do case management. Um, our goal, more than anything else, is to help those who are homeless and chronically homeless, get them into good jobs, a good education, and just get them out of the cycle and into the system and just living happy, healthy, and spiritual lives if we can. Is there a time limit? Um, everything has a time limit, um, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, most of them are 45 days for our people in the dorms, but mm -hmm. there are some exceptions and things like that that are worked out. We try to see it less. We try to get them motivated. And oh, yeah. That's the name of the game. 
Joe, we have to take, sorry, we have to take a no little break. break. I heard it. All right, we'll be, we'll be right back. This is The Source, WLCA. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanetti. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch Planning for a Better and Safer Retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Sleep is just as vital to our good health as diet and exercise. And getting too little is going to lead to diabetes, obesity, and heart trouble. We should be washing our hair at least every other day to promote scalp circulation and hair growth. If you wash in frequently, it can trigger dandruff, which leads to hair loss. Would you believe that nearly 2% of all the country's greenhouse gas emissions are a result of people just needlessly warming up their cars? Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Regions Bank has big bank ability but possesses small bank agility. Utilizing tools like Raymond Andrews and his team of six mortgage experts with 100 years of experience in the mortgage industry and 50 years experience as members of the Regions Bank team. Mortgage lending is personal and important and you deserve someone that will lead you through a positive process. Raymond and his team use local mortgaging processes like local appraisers and local closing to help you have a positive experience and they habla espanol as well. So whether you need a conventional, FHA, USDA, or VA loan, or you even need a construction loan, the mortgage team of your local region's bank has the knowledge and experience to guide you through the process. So contact Raymond Andrews and his team of mortgage experts at 352-854-4104. That's 352-854-4104. Regions Bank, it's time to expect more. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. A nice day today with clouds and sun and a high between 74 and 78. Becoming mostly cloudy tonight, but mild, though, 59 to 63. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, warm and rather humid with a couple of showers in the afternoon, a high 74 to 78. For Saturday, clouds and a shower giving way to some afternoon sunshine, breezy and cooler with highs generally in the 60s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. It's 17 minutes after 9 o'clock. Let's rejoin Veterans News. Gary Pascal. Gary? Well, you know, Larry, uh, you know, it, it's, it's the goal of the Veterans Administration to end homelessness for veterans. I believe the target year was 2015, which we're in now. Uh, they're still shooting at that, but they may have upped it to 2016. So we have programs uh, like Cassandra's out there, and, and of course there are other programs. There's, there's several programs in the Gainesville and O'Carroll area. But the unique thing about uh, Cassandra's program that um, I'm going to have her cover with you is, you know, everything in the government takes time. Amen? Amen. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the only, about the only thing that don't take time is, you know, thank God for Dr. Knapp over there. You know, he, he gets patients seen in, in the clinic quickly. Well, that, that, well that's a good thing, don't yeah, you that's think? That's a good thing. Yes, yeah. it is. But when you're applying for, for any kind of veterans housing or transitional housing, it takes time. It's a process. You, you, you have to go, go through all kinds of things. And we're going to cover that a little bit. But the nice thing about over at Cassandra's place is, is she's got a homeless shelter over there, too, with, um, what do you got, about 42 beds? Uh, yes. So most of the time, if a veteran comes to her and is wanting to get to her program until they could see the appropriate people from the VA, a lot of times, Cassandra, you're able to put them up in the homeless shelter, aren't you? Well, we do. We put them in the shelter. They come in. We do have lineups. We aren't able, unfortunately, to hold beds for anyone. But we do have um, lines. They come in. Um, once they're in, we are able to get them in to see Dale, who is a wonderful gentleman who comes from Gainesville. He comes in every Wednesday and sees our veterans. Oh. And he helps and gives them information on HUD-VASH and the other programs open to them. So seeing Gary is, quote-unquote, an ex-Salvation uh, Army uh, <coughs> volunteer, quote-unquote, <laughs> he, has, he has the inside line. So if they called Vets Helping Vets at 433-2320, I'm sure they can get a direct line to somewhere over there in the Salvation Army, correct? They can, and, and, and if you want to get, get a hold of uh, Cassandra, um, you can uh, call her at 352 732 8326 and just dial extension 319 or tell the wonderful secretary over there miss juanita if you punch O, oh, that you want to speak to miss cassandra right. and and you'll get all connected up um gary 
Could you do that number again just a little slower? Because people are out there trying to write and keep Writing up with you. And it's like, so, well, I'm hard. That, that's almost almost a New York size. Uh, well, that's like when I get when I get a call on my answering machine. My phone number is... <laughs> and you go, wait, let's rewind that and play it again. So, right, we'll give that to you again. That's area code 352-732-8326. And Cassandra's at extension 319. Another wonderful thing that, that they offer over there where Cassandra works is um, they have an office over there that um, nobody in particular owns, but it's just for veterans affairs. And that, that's where Dale Ellsley hangs out, right? That's correct. And you all still have the DAV come there on a pretty regular basis? They do come in. Um, and we have a liaison, of course, with the VA, uh, Miss Sarah. We do see, uh, see her once a week. And she's there if, I, if I'm if i stuck and I have no idea, you know, of course, being new, what I'm doing, I call. And I'm like, help me. Mm. <laughs> she's like, okay. And well, you lean on each other. Of course. And several years ago, um, you know, we didn't have that office for veterans. It, it was open. And Miss Alice, I don't think you're listening, but uh, my good friend Miss Alice, we she made know. that office available. Uh, you know, she got me some furniture for it. And uh, she said that we could have that space um, to help veterans because, um, you know, that was on her heart. And um, I know it's something that's on the heart of Major Patterson. Major Patterson's from Canada. But, uh, you, know, he, you know, he loves veterans and he's good to them. He's really been helping us out with this stand down. Um, you know, he comes to the meetings. Um, you know, uh, I appreciate Major, Major Patterson, and, um, you know, I'm honored for the time that, you know, I had to work with him. When is that stand down? Do you call, know that off the top of your head? I sure do. Mm -hmm. that's, that's on the top of my list here. Uh, that stand down is going to be February 27th and 28th. Mark your calendars for that because we got a lot of great things going on. And, you know, uh, the Salvation Army is going to cook us some really good meals. Um, I got I got all kinds of good news this week about the stand down. Um, the state's attorney's office called me, and um, mm -hmm. our, our, our fine friends over there through the Veterans Court are, are going to have several uh, lawyers over there um, to be able to answer questions about criminal matters. And you know, you know how hard it is to get get, get lawyers in in this town, Joe. <laughs> uh, but oh, there's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, my, my our good friend um, Mr. Brigham. Um, you know he. Uh, he talked to some folks, and he's going to have them over there. And, and civil uh, matters, you know, that, that's a big problem because it seems like it's almost impossible to get veterans help with civil problems. But um, Mr. Brigham talked to the folks at uh, Community Legal, and, you know, they're going to set up a table there, too. So and where you know, is there? Uh, where, where's it going to gonna be? It's going to be at Tuscawilla Park mm -hmm. uh, in the American Legion building. Okay. So and again, rain, rain or shine, then we're Rain fine. or shine. Um, we may have a few things outside, but the majority uh, of, of the focus is going to be inside. Of course, the Eaton's going to be outside, and, and the Salvation <laughs> Army's going to have their Wait a minute, Gary. It's there. twice you mentioned eating. Eating. Is, is that a, a theme with you, Gary? That, that, that's a thing, you know, uh, <laughs> eating. <laughs> that's a thing with everyone, isn't it? <laughs> Even if I'm preaching, it's hard to keep food out of my messages. <laughs> mm, Forty loaves of what? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to have that. Uh, we have, um, we're going to have almost any kind of service that you would need over there um, to, to make that transition from homelessness back on the road uh, to somehow getting your own home and to getting self-sufficiency. And, 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 and that's, that's, that's what we're all about, uh, veterans helping veterans. And, you know, we, you know, we have some volunteers over there probably that, that won't be veterans, but basically it's all about the veterans trying to help other veterans get on, get on their feet, you know? People that care about veterans. People that care. Uh -huh. and, and again, um, you know, if you want any more information about this stand down or if you want us to email you a flyer or deliver you a flyer, you can contact us at uh, Vets Helping Vets at area code 352-433-3326. Our office is located at 15... 27 Northeast 8th Avenue in the neighborhood storage. We're usually open from 8 o'clock in the morning until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you want to come by and have a cup of coffee with us and have a visit, veterans are always welcome and the coffee is always on. Thank God, Doc Gunner, you did well on that one. You said it slow, you did nice it slow. precisely and everything. I'm proud of you guys. Well, Hank's training me well. <laughs> 
Uh, one last time, we'd like to thank our, our sponsors for this half hour. If you would be so kind, just to run through that. Yes, very, very we quick, would. Because. Remember, if you're looking for a car, or even if you you're not, uh, maybe you ought to be thinking about one because uh, <laughs> our, our local it. Ford dealers in Gainesville, Leesville, and the villages, you know, they would they would love to you to be their customer. They want to put you in a new Ford or a used Ford. Great selection, car, truck, whatever you need. If you already own a Ford. Take it to the Ford dealer to fix it because, you know, nobody can fix it like the maker. And also, if you're hunting for some part that's hard to find in an auto store, Ford of Ocala will have that part. And if they can't get it, they'll order it for you. And our the lovely folks at Bob Wines, hey, you know, the azaleas are blooming. I um, heard. Get yeah. over there. Get your azaleas, you know. Uh, let, let's get ready for spring. Uh, you know, we would try to shed this winter that we're not supposed to have in Florida. But, again, they're, they're located at 2610 Southeast 38th Street. And if you're getting that spring garden ready, don't forget to tell the folks at Bob Wines you're a veteran. Get that 10% discount. And and thank them for helping us with this wonderful radio show that they've been doing for so long. Wow. Cassandra, do you have anything else to add right now about Salvation Army? Before we head off, we've got about two and a half minutes. Um, we always need donations. We need donations, uh, of course. Um, specifically right now, we do need donations with uh, toothpaste and toothpaste. deodorant and small items. The personal the necessity care. things kind yes, of thing, the, the day to day. Go fast. Oh, they go fast. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad they go fast. Let's rot in teeth. Yes. <laughs> Boy, I can attest to that. We won't even go there. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> so, soap. Uh, what do they call it? toiletries? That's the toiletries, word I was looking for. There, yes. What a name for it! I need some toiletries. That's it. Couldn't think of a better name than that. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and they're making up. They're making up hygiene kits for our stand down too. So you know, oh, help really? them out with this stuff, folks. You know, showers too. We, yeah, and they go. They are going to provide the showers for the stand down. We have a van, and we're going to shuttle people over to the shelter. Major Patterson has uh, give his okay for that. Thank you again, Major Patterson. And uh, agencies working hand in hand. Agencies working hands in hand. That's what it's all about. I love it. I Blessings love it. all the way around. Yeah, it, it's Ocala's, what, uh, 55,000 people plus, and it seems like it's like the p person next door when you need help. I mean, you, the Ocalians, Ocalians, is that a new word? The Ocalians are there when you need them. If you, get to, if you get to live in Ocala or Marion County, I believe you're a blessed person. <laughs> there you go, Ocalians. You like that word? I like I that. Like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so we're, ro we're rolling down. We've got about a minute and a half to go. Uh, any that, last thoughts, Gary? In that minute and a half, um, Don, um, you mentioned that, that Donald Harris uh, was a member of the um, Masonic Lodge, and he was also a Shriner. Um, yes, he was. So, uh, you know, uh, we want to put our sincerest and, 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 and warmest condolences to those two groups. Um, recently, Vets Help and Vets worked with him on the Shrine Rodeo. Um, Don was very active in that, um, and, and you know that, that's for crippled kids. Um, Don was helping people his whole life, you know. Um, I, I, I don't know uh, what else to say, but, you know, it's going to be a big loss. I don't know how we're going to fill the gap. but um, Big shoes to fill. Big shoes. But, you know, if you can in any way support this PGA tournament, you know, I, L I know that LPGA. was LPGA tournament. You better LPGA. put that L in there. Yeah, oh, ladies, oh, professional oh, oh. golfers. The, the 120 of them will come after you, boy. No, 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 I'll, I'll be in me. big trouble. Yes, That was really a big on Don's heart. That was the last thing I had a conversation with him about was that. Um, so, uh, you know, support that in any way you can and um you know again our thoughts and prayers are, are, are with uh, don's family and, and the family of vets helping vets you know because it's it's a very personal loss to each and every one of right. us right well woc is proud to uh, support vets helping vets and veterans news as we always say as we end the program god bless america <laughs> <laughs>